Hi guys and welcome to this strumming lesson as part of a wider strumming lesson course uh, available at andyguitar.co.uk Hi guys and welcome to lesson 6 in this strumming beginners course with me Andy Crowley um, This strumming lesson is doing down and up strums but we're missing out some up strums so this is very reminiscent of lesson 3 and this is again you, for your guide as to how and where to use this lesson, you'll want to get your strumming level sheets um, out to see where this is appropriate. Song examples of using this particular strumming pattern are Songbird and Mr. Tambourine Man from the beginner's course, as it says on the sheet, with, which should accompany your lesson materials. But in this particular lesson, I'm going to be strumming using the A minor chord as an example. And this lesson is appropriate anywhere between level 3 and level 6 of my beginner's course. Some people find it easier to do, some people can struggle. So anywhere between those two levels and there'll be songs using this strumming pattern. Let me just demo it one more time to a slow count so that you can see what's happening for this particular strumming pattern. Two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. Now the trick with this is to keep your hand moving at the same pace, even though we're not strumming. So even though I'm missing out one, two, there's a couple of ands I'm missing out there, my hand keeps moving at the same rate. I don't kind of do one, two, three, and four, and down, 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 even though that's the same rhythm. And that is the number one mistake that anyone makes with their strumming when they haven't acquired the skills that you need. Now, hopefully we've navigated this course in such a way that you never even come across those mistakes because a lot of them are caught before you do them. But if you ever find yourself kind of stopping and starting with your strumming, it's the dead wrong way to do it. Your hand should be moving at the same tempo, thinking like a conductor of an orchestra, still moving his hands, if his hands ever stop, the orchestra would stop, and that's not what we want for good rhythm. So we need your forearm moving from the elbow at the same speed, consistently, all the time, and we just catch the strums that we want to catch. And in this strumming pattern, we want to catch down, 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 up, down, up, to a count of one, Two, three, and four, and. Down, 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 up, down, up. So make sure you're playing this along with me for now, and then we're going to speed it up, because this strumming pattern sounds great when it's done fast. Let's have a go at that now in two, three, and four, and. Down. Down, down, up, down, up. Down, 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 up, down, up. One, two, three, and four, and. And stop there. Hopefully that was something you were able to play along with me. If you kept dropping out, don't worry about it. Give it a go in your own time. What we're going to go for now is trying to do this quite a bit faster because these down and up strumming patterns are great for being able to play them faster because they're more economical. Let's have a quick go at doing this now. Same chord, same strumming pattern, A minor chord. And we're going to, just to give you an example, That's what we're going to be going for. Down, 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 up, down, up. Same again. In two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And. One, two, three, and four. And. One, two, three, and four. And. Keep it going. One, two, three, and four. And. If you accidentally caught more strumming patterns than you meant to, 
or you didn't catch the ones that you did mean to, don't worry about it. In many ways, you're not playing it wrong. It's not what you were going for m the majority of the time, but the secret of the pros is they don't play the same strumming pattern for an entire song. Their m hand motion is the same, which is the thing that makes it correct or wrong. If your hand motion's wrong, the whole thing falls apart. If you accidentally hit some strums and then not others, don't worry about it too much. That is what d is done in the real songs. Take a song such as Wonderwall. Such a classic intro and such a recognisable strumming pattern, but for the rest of the song, it is varied as a strumming pattern. Virtually every strumming pattern in every song ever is varied, almost like a drummer doing a drum fill but then keeping the standard beat for the majority of the song. Think about this from a rhythm point of view, and so long as it works, so long as you keep your hand motion going, you are not wrong. It's something that you have a bit of creative license with. So now, get straight on and learn a few songs with that strumming pattern, as I say. My examples would be Songbird and Mr. Tambourine Man. A great one with the A minor chord is Losing My Religion, and that's kind of the feeling that I was going for with that particular example when I was doing it just then. Um, or you can get straight on to lesson seven, which is the next one in this course, where we're gonna look at triplet strumming, otherwise known as six-eight style strumming. Whichever of those lessons you move on to next, we will see you there.